Ah, yeah. Welcome back to Star Ocean, the second story. It's been a bit for me. And if you've been watching this in real time, it's been a bit for you as well. Several days. Uh, I got sick at the tail end of Thanksgiving weekend. Clogged nostril, hurt everywhere. Minimal sleep. Just did not feel like running a fever. Give me the pulsating mask got done, but... <laughs> Needed to wait for Star Wars in the second story. It was for the best. But now, gotten plenty of sleep. Both working nostrils. Happy days are here. Time for more of this delightful treasure of Star Wars in the second story. You missed the last two episodes? You didn't miss much. There's a few private action events. Uh, two. There was also me babysitting a, a traveler around. I uh, did not complete that. The reward for that is nothing of material, as far as this playthrough is concerned. We then spent a bunch of time crafting, which was a sampler platter of crafting. It did not include the full bevy of crafting experience. From authoring, where you can either make books to influence relationships, or books to increase people's skills without investing skill points. Uh, you can also have books sold for royalties. Uh, you can... Also create art with canvases and clay. There's combining foods to make other foods. Uh, there's using music and the super specialty orchestra to, among other things, orchestra can increase your odds of creating items or increase your odds of, like, basically, like, improve your talent grinding chances. There's... Again, it's a sensory overload. If you don't come into this with, like, a detailed game plan, but you find yourself still caring about these things to some extent, <laughs> it's overwhelming. On the bright side, it's not necessary stuff to do to get through the game. You can turbocharge your power, especially if you know the right moves. You can become a lean, mean killer machine, especially if you combine that with pickpocketing. But, uh... The amount of time that would have been spent in this playthrough had I fully poured myself into doing all this, much worse than it. Just a casual playthrough, introducing you to Star Ocean, the second story. Without uh, all of the other things that we could do behind the scenes. And really, I, for as cool as all of these crafting options are, the lack of interactivity involved just... much, much duller to me now than it was back in the day. The only thing of significance you missed is that I popped into Linga to, to buy a few skills, and so we missed an opening cutscene there. That opening cutscene introduces a character who is familiar with machinery, like Opera is. I was also... We also did inventory management. I think the only thing of substance that I have equipped is this mic chain, which Claude made. Pretty sure that's it. That's upping his attack power. Look at that. So yes, plenty of options for efficiency and power. Something else I could do for efficiency and power is if I were to control someone other than Claude. You know, like say if I guided Opera along. Welcome to Linga, everyone. But, before that, there is at least one private action I want to show off, which is of value in substance. So don't touch that dial. It genuinely is, like, it's of value. If you ended up missing the action uh, with the introduction of Linga and the character, this will be your opportunity to see that in action. Yes. Robot. That's what Opera said. This is also an opportunity to talk to people around town, as I did not do then. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I 
did not have in mind picking you up. Claude in your damn banana hair. Right, so... She was chasing this robot around town. Great. She named it Bobot. Know what I mean? Music note. Do you think this is neat? What? Are you interested in what I do? <laughs> Claude. <laughs> About as sharp as a pound of wet leather, boy. Just vroom, right over his head. So then she invites Claude over. Guys can pick her up, but she doesn't pick up guys. Don't get the wrong idea. He understands perfectly. Wink. Okay. So. Half my life ago, I looked at this name. Never needed to pronounce it at any point in my life. Called her Precious. Presses. I'm older now. I look at that. Pray see. What the fuck is that? It's a summary. Not just a summary, but a simple summary. I could go into more detail, but that'd be fucking missing the point now, wouldn't it? Bray C. Newman. Of course, I didn't bring the instruction manual next to the computer desk, because that would have been intelligent and reflected well upon me. Let's grab that in advance for no particular reason. So, we follow Precy and Boba. She asks about her age. We're 19. Well then, that puts us only three years apart. Well then, it's okay. Some of these rolling cutscenes I don't have to press buttons for. I appreciate that. Yep, this is happening. Why, no! Oh. <laughs> like I said, I told you this would all be worth it. Look at man's jaw. Hello. Arena. <laughs> this is even better than I remembered.
True genius always gets recognition eventually, way after they're dead. Inspiration. Someone actually calls us on our clothes. How about that? I mean, it's happened before, but this person gets inspired. You could buy them anywhere, you know. <laughs> Well, we'll just walk around the table here awkwardly, like so. So, a long time ago, something fell from the sky. It's never happened before. No, I'm not. Rina's incredible politeness just absolutely conflicts with everything that's happened. You know, the deal with so much, like the whole Celine situation. Tracy worrying this like a dog would worry a bone. It's exactly what the problem is. It's the sorcery globe's fault. Yes, that's it. That she does a pirouette. Aren't we friends, huh? I know that relationship path wasn't unlocked yet, Claude. He's moving too fast. Yes, in the name of science, she wants to go out there fetch whatever came out of this damn sorcery globe and make the most epic shit ever. Because science. Also, we're treating her like a normal person. She's fallen for all of us. 
So, set the controller down. Open up my handy dandy instruction book. Does she not have an entry in this? I guess she doesn't. We have an entry for the more obscure opera and we don't have an entry for Precy. We have an entry for the other person you can recruit besides her, but we don't have an entry for Precy. What the hell? I guess we don't. So. In that case, I got no details for you. Why the hell did I even get the book? <laughs> She's not... Precy here is not character locked. Uh, you can get her as either Claude or Rena. Though I think she's in different locations of Linga in a private action. Uh, she is she is knowledgeable about mechanics. So if you don't have opera in the party, you have her. Unless you choose not to pick her up. But you can have her. Uh, she has some stuff related to Ashton, which we don't have in the party. There's like a few private actions that can revolve around them. Uh... I like her as a character. I think she's effective character. It's been a while since I've had her in my group. Like, it's been a while since I've had Ashton in my group. Don't remember how grating her dialogue is. Um, like her voice dialogue. She's 16, but uh, she may end up sounding worse. Do know that this will not be the youngest person we encounter in the game who could be in our party. We're going to say no to her, not because I think she's a bad character, but because I'm more interested in the character we wouldn't be able to recruit if we recruited her. Besides, we have our engineering specialist, and, you know, maybe just this once, Claude can throw Rena a fucking bone here, you know? <laughs> Instead of taking advantage of her hospitality at every turn. Rena has a problem with this. She's overwhelmed. She's confused. This is not a game, though. You can't come. Now, if this were a movie, she'd find a way to come along anyway. But thankfully, no means no. Remember that, folks. No means no. This is serious business. Of course, now Rena's only one year older than than her, so she's gonna she's gonna try and turn this into like an age manipulation, you know, emotional manipulation. Things aren't fair. She can't get her way. Why do why do folks besides her get to have fun? Why does she have to be treated different? You know, everything to just twist the fucking knife. I think half my life ago, whenever I was her age, I could relate better to this. <laughs> Here I'm like, eh. Eh. Sounds like a you problem. Yup. I'm sorry, but it's really a dangerous journey. Don't forget, Bowmans, if you have stamina, your HP and MP will recover like crazy after a battle. That's your hand about stamina. Something that the instruction book doesn't do a good job of, or a great job is, while it does provide, like, some detail about private actions and, you know, like, hey, there's gonna be, like, skills and specialties and here's, like, some combat mechanics, there's not an intricate explanation of, of things I would like to know about. You know? It's stuff that you end up in my case, having to go on the internet to look for when you're playing this game like, I don't understand this shit, or winging it. Or perhaps encountering someone who will explain these things to you. Just like how Claude doesn't know what the fuck his favorite food is. Come on, Claude. I mean, Claude could genuinely be conflicted on it, right? So Linga's gimmick, besides being a place acknowledged that there's plenty of pharmacies around here, where you can buy pharmaceuticals if you are so inclined. Jam made of boiled down aloe. Or boiled down apples.
the rest of this video is just going to be devoted to exploring this place a bit. The co-op lady. <laughs> We got a toolbox filled with tools for mechanical work, a reference book for study and research. Note that attack there. Clothes, magical canvas, magic clay, feather pen. To impart mastery of the skill of musical notation, we have a magical camera with magical film. Some fountain pens, some pet food. Is there's familiars you can have like pets go out to shop for you? Loves our hammer, resurrect bottle, some vellum paper, high quality paper used for writing documents. Better get the others first before we try to come in here. Pharmacist is always getting involved with people's problems, and that man and his daughter that are always making strange things, why don't you visit? This here is the skill shop. This here is the inn. Up here is another pharmacy. Hello. It's a mandrake. Attack vials. We got the stuff, though. We're fine. Do note that I do not have the most money, and that's because I chose to buy more things to craft with. Lord knows why. It's not like I plan on doing another one of those anytime soon. Maybe I'll off-screen it and just cry. Right, this university town could not be filled with eccentric people. How about that? Go home. All of you. Wah. Well, Claude wishes he could go home. You insensitive. Bitch. Professor's angry with you again. Brings me back. Memories. Can we buy stuff here? Yes. What do you want? No. Students only. So let's see whether there's any prizes in these various academy halls. There's dialogue, though, and people to rob. That's about it. These folks are going to provide clues. About how uh, we're going to have problems getting an audience with the language professor. Because, well, he doesn't know us. And he's so damn busy. Finally. At the library here, where Selene is. There's some other private action, eh, action, for lack of a better word, that happens here too. Come here, study is this university library. But let's put all that aside now. Obviously, more action, more folks to talk to. And if we were pickpocketing, more folks to pickpocket. And we're done with all that stuff. This video is primarily devoted to showing off someone we're not going to be recruiting into this party. I hope you enjoyed the experience. I sure did. Can I come? 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 Please? No.